later. This is a test. How many of you remember the name Michael Jordan? Show of hands. How many of you have no idea who I'm talking about? Oh, good. Therefore, how many of you remember the name Charles Barkley? Oh, less hands are going up. Now, come on. They competed with one, each, one another. They each thought they were great, right? And, and here's the thing. Charles Barkley was the one who back in the, it would have been the early 90s, I believe it was, came out with a Nike commercial. Some of you might remember it. And in that commercial, he said, I'm not a role model. And now do you remember that one? No, some of you don't. Oh, well, okay. Well, here's, here's what he said in the commercial. He said, and, and by the way, you remember the commercial, I want to be like Mike? Yep. I want to be like Mike? Boy, hey, come on. Some of you need to get back in the memory banks. Thank you. Melba, you're with us. Okay. So Melba, it's just you and me. Okay. <laughs> so so ever, and everyone was following this and, you know, repeating the phrase, I want to be like Mike. Yeah, I want to be like Mike. Well, really, how many of you want your kid, would like your kids to be like Mike? Well, be careful now. Okay, wouldn't you like to have somebody like that that becomes famous and earns millions and millions of dollars who also gambles a lot of it away regularly? Thousands, probably millions of dollars that he's gambled away. Well, maybe there are some things that we don't want to be like Mike. Well, in kind of in response to that, because Barkley and, and, and Jordan were you know, playing against literally for world championships against one another. Incidentally, Jordan won a lot more than Barkley. Did Barkley win any? Don't think so. I think he lost most of the time to Jordan. Anyways, here's what, here's what, <laughs> what um, Charles Barkley said in his great Nike commercial. I am not a role model. Thank you. I'm not paid to be a role model. I am paid to reap havoc on the basketball court. Parents should be role models. Amen? Amen. Just because I dunk a basketball doesn't mean I should raise your kids. <laughs> now, Newsweek had an article about uh, that commercial some years later, and it says, in, in, in some response to it, here's, funny how big shots accept all the traffics of ro trappings of role model dumb, especially the residual commercial cash, before they renounce their broader responsibilities to society. This is... Uh, that was the response of Phil Mushnick, who, um, from the New York Post, who was scolding Barkley for his comments. Uh, fellow hoopster Carl Malone even said this. Do you, any of you remember Carl Malone? Isn't he still playing? No. Oh, well. His team still is. <laughs> Carl Malone said this. Charles, I don't think it's your decision to make. We don't choose to be role models. We are chosen. Our only choice is whether to be a good role model or a bad one. Mm -hmm. mm. Janet Harris, a professor uh, in the physical education department at the University of North Carolina, asked children and adolescents whom they most want to be like. Thinking that, you know, she was going to get several of these key sports personalities. Is there people like that that they respond with? And here's what she said. They actually had trouble answering the question, who would you most like to be like? Most identified no one person, but several people with different characteristics. We uh, ended up not even using the data <laughs> because it was just not definitive. But as part of her study to be released in a book, Athletes in the American Hero Dilemma, Harris analyzed popularity lists published in the World Almanac and found most of those selected remained on the list only a year or two. Jordan, incidentally, stayed on the list for six years. But that's been a long time ago. A long time ago. Who are your role models? And, and even as I ask you that question today, I, I want you to think in terms of whom are you a role model for? We all have people that we've looked at, that we've kind of followed after, that we say, oh, I, I like what they do. How many of you have, uh, ladies, how many of you have ever asked another lady for a recipe? 
Some of you aren't sure whether you're supposed to answer these questions today or not, and it's okay, okay? Yeah. So it looked like almost all of you raised your hand. That means you looked at another lady for a role model, right? You were looking down for them to say, well, how did you do that? I like that, I, I wanna do what you did. We all are actually following the examples and following the role models of other people. I have a question also. How, are all moms great cooks? No, you better be saying yes if your mom's nearby. <laughs> when we got married, I'd been working in a cafeteria for a, number, a couple of years and all. And, and Debbie, I don't know, because I think she ended up doing all the babysitting in her house, had done very little cooking, incidentally. Very little. Even though there were six kids in the house, mom did all the cooking so much, and so Debbie did very little cooking. So when we got married, she was like, you're not allowed in the kitchen, Bill. Because I had more experience than her in the kitchen. And so now, I don't, I just stay out of the kitchen, unless it's time to eat. <laughs>